Hello everyone and welcome to your reading. This is going to be an all signs their feelings. We're going to take a look at each individual zodiac, look at the feelings of the person you came to this reading for. Remember energy is interchangeable so feel free to take the messages, flip them, twist them, reverse them however you see fit. If it does not resonate, make sure to check your chart and check your other placements. Perhaps you'll find something there. Past, present, or future, you tell me, as time is fluid and we are all on different timelines. And as always, please remember that these readings are for entertainment purposes only. And if you like these videos, give them a thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed, love to have you here. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you know when new videos are posted. With that said, let's jump right on in. Starting with Aries. Spirit, what messages clarity guidance do we have for Aries, please? Tell me about their person's feelings, what they're feeling, how they view Aries, and possible outcome. Ten of Wands for their feelings. Three of Cups for how they view you. Oh shit, two of cups for possible outcome. Under the deck, we have four of swords, justice, 10 of swords, 10 of cups. Hmm. All right, so 10 of wands for their feelings. Let's clarify that. Clarifying the Ten of Wands, we have the Hierophant, the Lovers, and the Six of Wands. Under the deck, Strength, Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Automatically with the Ten of Wands, I'm feeling a bit of overwhelmed. Stress, this person could feel like they're overwhelmed by responsibilities. I feel like, it feels like they feel the weight is on their shoulders. Um, for some of you, I'm, I'm hearing it. They could feel it looks good on paper. I don't know. If you're married to this person, Aries, this person could feel stressed out by the connection, but at the same time, it's something that looks good on paper. For some, for others of you, this per if you, if you are in like a serious commitment with this person, it feels like this person, they're kind, they feel kind of burdened because I hate to say it, but it feels like this could be someone who is, they have another... They have another connection they want to entertain. It feels like this could be someone who's holding back from entertaining another connection because they feel that this connection looks good on paper. You know, almost like this is a connection for show. Unless if Aries, you're dealing with someone who's married or in a relationship or a commitment. I feel like they feel, they feel, they, they feel like the stress of the situation. It's like if you're dealing with someone who's married or in a commitment already, it's getting to them about how to entertain this connection and the other one. It feels like they're holding on to one connection because it looks good on paper. It's more of a for show type of thing. But at the same time, they're holding back from a connection that they want to entertain as well. So Aries, you take that however it resonates and put yourself on whichever side of the board. And if it doesn't resonate, then check one of your other placements. They're holding back from one connection. Yeah, which makes sense. Because this person could be even um, stressed about um, possibly telling whoever they're with about this. Strength card, Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. It's like this person, they want a good time, but at the same time, they want that token of what looks good, what benefits them. For some of you, this person could be in, in um, whatever commitment they're in for the sake of stability, money, finances. But at the same time, they still want to go out and have fun and I feel that there's someone else that they that they want to entertain. I feel I do feel that they're holding back from this person who they want to entertain and it's becoming a bit much because I feel that the longer they hold back, the more they want to, you know, kind of go their way. So Aries, if that's you, you know, take it however it resonates to you. I feel that we have someone who basically is in one connection but also is entertaining another or wants to entertain another. Tell me about the 3 of cups for how they view you.
Oh, oh shit. That's why I heard the person wants to have their cake and eat it too. This person is just... Aries, this person sees you as someone who's out there. You have people fighting for your attention and they don't like it. They don't like it. Which is kind of funny because if this person is in another commitment or married and you're just out there doing your thing, like th this person is obsessing over you. They have a lot of jealousy issues because they view you as someone, eight of wands, some of you, they could even view you as someone who cut them off. If you could have even cut them off because you found out that they were in another commitment or they were married and they were in another relationship. If you cut this person off and block them, they are watching you. And let me tell you something. They see you basically as a social butterfly that, you know, uh, you're very sexy, very desirable. You have people fighting for your attention, you, you know, and you're just out there living life. You could be going out. You could be going to parties, going to the bar, you know, going out to have a couple of drinks with some friends, whatever you're doing. They're watching you and they view you as someone who... You basically put them in a sense of competition, which is ironic because technically they did the same to you. If, if this is someone who you're dealing with who is actually already in some form of commitment, they don't like you getting a lot of attention. They don't like, they feel possessive over you. It's like they want to rush right in. That's probably why it's stressing them out so much, especially if they're stuck in some other commitment because they want to entertain this connection, especially if they see that you are basically out there you know, and you're just like some form of social butterfly. And it's like in this person's mind, now Aries, you don't have to be doing this, but in this person's mind, they're seeing you out there, going out there, doing your thing. You have people fighting for your attention. Basically, you could have anyone that you want. You could be hooking up with people, whoever, and they don't like it. They don't like it. This person wants to rush right in just because of that. It's becoming too much. It's like they want to have their cake and eat it too. Huh. Tell me about the two of cups for possible outcome. <sighs> so this person is going to try to come back your way yeah they may even try to test the water and and uh try to say you know can we just be friends but meanwhile they, they have a whole agenda and they're willing to take their time uh it's like this person wants to string you along I feel that like this person's going to try to string you along. They might try to say they want to come in and just, you know, can we still be friends? But there's an ulterior motive to try to basically get you back under their grasp. This person could even try to basically lay it on you where it's like they try to get you into bed. But at the end of the day, I feel that they're just going to end up uh, stringing you along with that Six of Pentacles. I feel that... I feel that you might even entertain the notion with... Uh, not all of you will, though. I really don't feel it. Some of you, you're just going to see right past this bullshit. You're going to see it as you're just, I already know what you're doing. You're trying to basically get back in my good graces. So this way, you know, you can just, you know, say you want to be a friend, but I know you have ulterior motive with that five of swords and just be like, no. Now for others of you, you may entertain it about being friends, but then it's like you see, you see the truth of the matter. You see that they're basically just playing games because they want to basically transform the situation and basically make you theirs. Meanwhile, they're still in another connection. So take that however it resonates to you. Like I said, Aries, that's not going to resonate for all y'all because not all y'all are dealing with someone who's in a commitment or, you know, in another relationship. At least I would hope not. So make sure to check your chart and check your other placements because you'll probably find something there instead. Next up, Taurus. Messages, clarity, guidance for Taurus, please. What messages does Taurus need to know about the person that they came to this reading for? What are their feelings? How do they view Taurus? And what's the possible outcome? Chariot for their feelings. I'm getting that song by Maya. I'm moving on. I'll be moving on. For how they view you, five of wands. Possible outcome. Thank you. Three of wands. Under the deck, we have the star, the four of swords, and the devil. All right, why is the chariot there for their feelings? 
Five of Swords. <laughs> yep, that's why they don't like it. Uh huh. All right, so Taurus, this person feels that you're moving on and they don't like it because they feel like they're not getting their way. I feel like this is someone who hid a lot of stuff from you with that moon card. Perhaps this person can feel that you're moving on. They're not getting their way with that um, Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Five of Swords there. Uh, this could be someone who hid stuff from you, was playing games, and they know it. Almost like they were trying to control the situation, control how things went about this connection with that Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It's like trying to control the direction or the narrative of the connection itself. But now they feel like you're moving on and basically they're not getting their way. It's like you're not playing into their games. They're not done with you. They're not done with you at all. If this is someone you're not dealing with right now, they are not done with you. Not yet. Page of Pentacles, the Fool card, the Emperor. Yeah, see, they lo they feel that they lost control over the situation. Um, all right. Why the Five of Wands for how they view Taurus? The Hierophant. The Six of Pentacles. Ten of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. The first thing that I got is like, they view people, they, they view you as someone who, you have people who wanna be with you, but I feel that, you know, they view you as someone you're not looking to basically play around. If you're on the dating scene, you're looking for something serious. And it's like, they view you as someone who's not gonna basically sit around and be strung along because what you're looking for is something that leads to something long-term with that Hierophant there. They could view you as someone who's very set in your ways as well. All in all, I feel that they view you as someone who's basically, you know, you're out there going about your business. They could view you as entertaining other people, it's like they can view you as you're not budging on the situation and you're out there. You could be out on the dating scene. Um, and again, you could have other people trying to get your attention, uh, wanting to, you know, go out with you. I don't think they like it. But I also feel with that Hierophant energy is a sense of you're not, if they were playing any type of games or trying to make you conform to their ways, it's like you are not budging. I mean, the the you're standing in your power basically, Taurus, because the Hierophant is you. They see you as standing in your power. You're not willing to settle for less than what you want. If you're looking for something that could lead to long term, you're not going to be strung along. You're not going to be put in any third party situations, competitive situations. And for the but in the meantime, I don't feel that you're holding yourself back from seeing anyone. You could be out there on the dating scene right now, exploring your options. But regardless, you're just standing in your power. You're standing in your power. You have your back turned to this person. And they could view you as, you know, you're entertaining other people. You're giving your energy elsewhere. But there's a sense of, because if you look at the Six of Pentacles, you see the wolf there? It's like, almost like, if you're going to come here to string me along, it, it's like the wolf will try to scare you off. Like, back off. Don't even bother. Don't come my way. You're standing in your power. You're standing up for what you want. And you're not willing to budge. Ten of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. Yeah. Hangman. You, you're not budging for shit. They don't like it because <laughs> they because you two can't seem to get on the same page. It feels like you two are uh, you, you you two might want different things. Tell me about this three of wands, please. Page of wands, the sun, One more, please. Four of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands, Nine of Cups. Clarifying the Three of Wands, we have the Page of Wands, the Sun, and the Knight of Wands. I feel like there's a sense of, if you've been waiting to hear anything from this person, I feel like there's, there's a sense of uh, clarity with that Sun card to the Three of Wands that you're waiting around for nothing really. Because 
if this person, this person, they could very well reach out if you've been waiting for communication. But I feel that the way that they come through with the nine of wands, uh, the page of wands, uh, bookending the knight of wands in reverse to the sun in the center. I feel that if they, if, if you've been waiting on communication from this person and they actually come forward it, you're going to end up seeing it for what it is, where it's just like, you're going to see that. All right, you're still just looking to basically be a fuck boy or a fuck girl and just, you know, you just basically want to hook up. I feel like you're going to see right through it and you might even just say, you know what, not not even entertain it. Just hold back from responding or hold back from giving them any type of energy because at the end of the day, you want something serious. Yeah, so Taurus, if you've been waiting on communication from this person, I do feel it will it could very well come through, but you're gonna see right through it because you're gonna see right away that this person's still basically on some fuck boy, fuck girl shit. They're not looking for the used to want different things still. And, you know, that's fine. Not everyone is meant to be in each other's, you know, be with each other, you know, and if it doesn't align, let it just let that ship sail because that way you get closer to the one that does align with you. All right, Taurus? Well, that's what I got for you. But yeah, this person may try to like seduce you or something or come, they might try just try to test the waters, come in flirty, but I feel like however they come, however they approach you, you're just gonna see it for what it is, you know? Next up, Gemini. Messages, clarity, guidance for Gemini, please. And the person that Gemini came to this reading for, what are they feeling? How do they view Gemini and possible outcome? Jeez Louise. All right. Gemini. The devil. I just got Mariah Carey's Why are You So Obsessed With Me. How they view Gemini? Justice. Possible outcome. Hmm. Under the deck, we have Ten of Pentacles, <clears throat> Temperance, Knight of Pentacles, Emperor. All right. So in their feelings, we have the devil. I feel like this person's a little fixated on you, a little bit obsessed. Not gonna lie. Tell me about this devil card. Why the devil for their feelings? I just heard obsessive possessive. Tell me about this devil for their feelings, please. Mm-hmm. Page of Cups could be a little obsessive too. Page of Wands in reverse. Hierophant, the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Empress. <sighs> I feel, Gemini, this is someone who, <clears throat> they're very um, obsessive over you, very heavily fixated, uh, a little possessiveness even. I feel that they could, the first thing I felt was they could feel like they, they, they strung you along. If communication was on and off with that page of cups, page of um, wands reverse, they could feel that they were a bit manipulative in that sense. As a, They could feel that they know that they strung you along, especially if they were like kind of on and off. Because I feel there's a sense of communication was on and off with the page of cups up and the page of wands in reverse. It's almost like this is someone who could have been more in and out, in and out. And they know that they did that purposely to try, try to string you along. Almost like um, they could feel that for them, they could feel that if they do something like that, this is, it, it, oh, I keep hearing trauma bond. For some of you, you know, they were trying to form a trauma bond. That's not going to be for all of you though. But it's almost like they were, they feel that they could have gone things a better way, especially if they were trying to get you attached to them because I think it backfired. I feel that whatever they were doing, it backfired on them and they are now in fact the ones attached to you. 
It's basically, uh, I feel like what goes around comes around, especially with that justice card there for how you see them. It's almost like you dished out a form of karma in the situation unknowingly. For some of you, they could also feel like they don't want you talking to anyone else. They don't want you giving time and attention to other people. Because I, I keep getting that possessive obsessive thing. They could feel jealous if they see you talking to anyone else. You know, even if it's just like a friend. Because now I'm getting that song. But you say he's just a friend. You say he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you. Yeah, if this person had their way, they would stick you up in a, sh uh, in a fucking tower like Rapunzel. Is what I'm getting here. It's like mine. This is mine. Gemini is mine. You know? It's like Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. This way no one else could get to you but them. That's the type of energy I'm getting off this. So if they were trying to fuck with you, where it's like, because uh, the page of cups, he could be manipulative too, you know, especially with that devil energy right there. And then the six of pentacles and then the page of wands in reverse. It's like, again, I feel very heavily. This is someone who was very on and off with communication, but it was purposefully. And I feel that they know it. This could be a way that they normally get people to attach to them, you know, because now I'm getting Kate and Perry's hot and cold. You're hot and you're cold. You're guessing your no. You're in and you're out. You're up and you're down. That could be the way that they get people to attach to them, you know? Get in, say sweet nothings to make them think, oh, yeah, oh, hey, baby, and then boom, gone. And then they come back and act like nothing ever happened. Zero accountability. And just go right back to the sweet talk like nothing happened. Just to see if they can, right? And boom, right back off. And that's probably how they form, uh, that's probably how they get people to get attached to them. But I don't think you played into it, Gemini. I think you said, <laughs> cute, bye, see ya. Because now I'm getting Jiminy Cricket. Uh, I'm no fool, no siree. I'm going to live to be 103. I take place for you and me because I'm no fool. And I don't think you're a fool, Gemini. I think that you, you've been there, done that. You've learned your lessons with that justice up, right? I don't know. Let's see how they view you with, just, uh, with justice. Why is justice there for how they view Gemini? It's like they're getting a taste of their own medicine. Yeah, you held back for them. You're not giving into this. <laughs> yup, there you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you are, Gemini. Queen of Swords, Four of Wands, Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're cutting your losses. It's like you're not you're not gonna let someone try to, you know, pull you into trap you into their bullshit. It's like, all right, this isn't what I want. Bye. They can't stop thinking about you, which goes with what I was feeling over here. They they view you as someone they can't stop thinking about, especially if you've held back your energy from them. If they basically were on and off with this communication, in and out, stringing you along, breadcrumbing you, whatever, you basically cut that sh shit out. You held back from giving to the connection, and now they're the ones attached to you. They can't stop thinking about you. This is the obsessive possessive too. You're ba you are basically their karma, Gemini. They view you as their karma because they're getting a taste of their own medicine and you're just out there, you know, you're just completely unbothered. I feel that you cut this shit out. You're good. You're on your own. You're single. You're out there. You're doing your thing and you have your whole back turned to them and the whole situation because you cut yourself free of it. But meanwhile, they view you as someone they can't stop thinking about. You live rent free in their head 24 seven. All right. Tell me about the sun card for a possible outcome. Why the sun? Why the sun card for possible outcome? Two of cups. Hermit. <laughs> oh, shit. Now this person, Gemini, you're not talking to this person. This person's going to break their silence. Now this person's going to come in and they're basically like, I want a relationship with you. How this person might be like, oh my God, you're the one. Will you marry me? I can see my life forever with you. Right? And I, why do I, I automatically feel, Gemini? Because if you look at this sun card, you have the kid dressed as a sunflower blowing out a birthday cake. I feel that this person's going to come in trying to, you know, be everything you want and everything you need, you know, really step up to the plate. And 
I feel with that sun card, I feel like you're going to feel like this person's blowing smoke up your ass. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel that this person's going to break the silence. All of a sudden, want to commit. They're going to want a relationship. They're going to, you know, because this person, they don't want, they don't want you being with anyone else. I'm going to tell you that right now. This person's like completely obsessed and fixated on you. You live rent free in their head. This person doesn't wake up, go to sleep whatever without the thought of you crossing when you when their head lays down on that pillow they are thinking of you when they wake up that first thought that hits their brain cells you so now it's like they're gonna come out break the silence and I feel like the way that they go about it because now it's like all of a sudden oh my god it's like now this person wants to dedicate themselves to you it's like they want they want a dedicated relationship and you're just gonna be like yeah all right blow so smoke up my ass another time <laughs> that's what it feels like I feel like you're gonna feel like this person's trying to blow smoke up your ass especially if you know that they were basically playing games with this on and off back and forth breadcrumbing string you along uh you could even you know somewhere know that you know have an inner knowing where it's like you felt like this person was just trying to get you attached and I felt like you didn't play into their games and because you didn't play in their games you turned away from the situation you held back you know you released yourself and again it's like a boomerang effect by doing that, this person got a taste of their own karma and it's like, now they can't stop. This devil card's looking right at this nine of pentacles. You're living rent free in their head. This motherfucker don't even know why. Why can't I get Gemini out of my head? Oh my God. That like this person is just like beside themselves. It's literally what goes around comes around. And now this person's gonna come back around with that hermit reverse. Be like, you're the one. You're the one. I pick you, Pikachu. And you're gonna be like, all right, what what are you doing? Why are you trying to blow smoke up my ass? <laughs> yeah, that's what I got for you, Gemini. Next up, Cancer. Messages, clarity, guidance for Cancer, please. And the person that they came to this reading for, what is that person feeling? How do they view Cancer? And what is the possible outcome between these two? Messages, clarity, guidance for Cancer, please. Cancer. What is this person feeling? Oh, shit. Cancer, they loves ya. How they view cancer, please. They view you as wifey or husband. Possible outcome? Getting that song from Timbaland and, Mal and Magoo, Love to Love to Love Ya. Tell me about a possible outcome. Uh oh. Fuckery's afoot. Queen of Wands. Possibly. I don't know. We'll see. We, we got court cards all across the board. So I, I don't know. I, I, feel, I feel this Queen of Wands is, is someone else. And I feel it's fuckery afoot. I feel this fuckery afoot. Look at this queen of wands. I just noticed that. Look at her face. You know, she looks like she's, come on, hold on. Okay, look at her face. There's fuckery afoot. She's up to something. I don't know, I feel like there's a third party up to something. There's fuckery afoot, Cancer. Tell me about King of Cups for their feelings. Tell me about King of Cups for their feelings. This person could drink a lot. This person could drink to avoid their feelings as well. I don't know, that just came to me. Tell me about the King of Cups. Oh. I'm getting this song, Lonely. I am so lonely. I have nobody. Oh my own. They lonely. They miss their cancer. You're not talking to this person. Some of you, they could feel like you shut them out. But they want to talk. Oh shit. Justice. 
Okay, so in their feelings, we have the King of Cups clarified by the Five of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and Justice. Under the deck, Nine of Cups, Queen of Swords, Four of Wands, Nine of Wands. This person, again, very heavily, this person may drink a lot, a lot be very self-indulgent. Um, so Cancer, this person loves you. I don't feel that you're speaking to this person with that five of pentacles. I feel that this person is missing the shit out of you. For some of you, they could even... Some of them, there could even be like about a depression where it's like they're drinking away their feelings, you know, and how they're missing you. But they, they do feel an urge to actually say something. If this person did you wrong in any way, I feel like they want to make something right. Huh. Okay, so for some of you, this person could feel like they're experiencing their own sense of karma, especially if this is because with the Knight of of Wand of Wands, Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords, they're very in and very out. So if this person was someone who was in and out, uh, on again, off again, would ghost you and then come back and then disappear again, I feel like this person, the, this person could feel like they are in fact experiencing a sense of karma. Because I feel that Cancer, with you there as the Queen of Pentacles, is how they view you. And you see this Queen of Pentacles, your back is turned to them. I feel in a sense that if that's the case, that your back could be turned to the situation. And you're just more focused on your home, your family, your career, you know, whatever you got going on. Your own sense of wish fulfillment. But this person could very well feel like they are experiencing karma with that Justice card. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles for how they view Cancer. The Fool. Seven of Cups. The Empress, jeez. King of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Okay, so for some of you, the first thing I got with the Eight of Pentacles, um, I don't know why I just said Eight of Pentacles, um, the Queen of Pentacles with the, the full card down, some of you, they can see you um, walking off into a new career venture, um, but with the full card to the Seven of Cups, they could also view you as someone who's basically uh, taking a chance on something else elsewhere. You could be exploring your options. With that Empress card, if you have kids, you're focusing on your kids. Um, I feel very heavily though, especially with um, the Empress there, and I feel like I, they could view you as someone who's opened yourself up to a bunch of opportunities. You know, because the Empress, you know, she she creates things. Um, especially with that Queen of Pentacles right up there and the full card of the Seven of Cups to the Empress. It's like the Empress gives birth to new things, new ideas even. You know, the Seven of Cups can be a form of ideas as well. They could see you, um, they could see you not, it's not even just about like exploring any option. It's like they could see you kind of giving birth to new forms of opportunities, opening up new opportunities for yourself in life. But I feel that ultimately it's like they don't see you focused on them at all because if you notice all of these cards... The ghost, even if you don't even want to say the ghost, but it's all going in the opposite direction of this King of Cups. Like, I feel like how they view you, the type of energy that I'm getting is someone who, it's like, because I'm getting Vanessa Williams, I got work to do. It's like, you're someone who it's like, you're not going to sit around stuck on anyone or anything. You got work to do. You got, you got, you got a world to create. You got stuff to do. You got businesses to run. You know, you basically, you're someone who's like more focused on growth and expansion. If there's something that sits stagnant, you want no part of it. You got stuff to do. You got stuff to do. You don't have time to just be sitting around and waiting on nobody. You're more focused on growth and expansion. Okay, well, if this opportunity is not working out, let's let's uh, explore this one. Let's go venture off this way. Let's get stuff popping and pushing and moving forward and just get it going. Tell me about that Queen of Wands energy for a possible outcome. I really feel that fucker is afoot with that Queen of Wands. I feel that it's a third. That's a third energy. That Queen of Wands energy is someone external to both of you. Could be Aries, Leo, Sag. Six of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Eight of Wands. The 
this is so weird because this energy isn't either one of you's. This energy is someone else entirely. It's like with that four of so swords reverse, I feel like there's a sense of cancer. For you, I'm feeling a sense of the energy of four of wands upright, where it's like you're basically staying to yourself. You're, you're just like minding your own business, focusing on your own life, right? And then it's like this queen of wands comes in out of nowhere. It's like, and I feel like it's, it is gonna feel like it's kind of out of nowhere. Where it's like this, whoever this Queen of Wands energy, it's like they've had something to say for you for a long time. And I feel like they're choosing to finally come forward after a very long time of sitting and thinking about this to basically come forward and say something to you. But I keep hearing fuckery is afoot. Now, I don't know who this person is to you or to, you know, this person, but you have someone where it's like fuckery is afoot. I feel like you have someone who has wanted to say something to you for a long time. And this is not this person. This is not you. This is someone else. And it's like completely out of nowhere. I feel like this is someone who's thought about it for a very long time. And now they're choosing to come forward. There's something that they want to tell you. For some of you, it could be something that they want to tell you about this person. Because I feel fuckery is afoot with this Queen of Wands energy. I truly do. Because this is a third energy. I literally have three separate energies on the board. We have a masculine energy, a feminine energy, and then another feminine energy. Fuckery is afoot. Someone has wanted to say something. They've been thinking of saying something to you for a very long time. And they're going to actually do it with that Four of Swords in, the, in reverse. They're going to speak up, say whatever it is. I feel like it could be something in regards to this King of Cups energy. But I also feel, because I heard grain, uh, grain of Salt. Take it with a grain of salt because I feel like fuckery is afoot. Fuckery is afoot with this Queen of Wands. This, this Queen of Wands, whoever this is, this is someone who's up to no good. This is someone who's purpose. I mean, this is like someone who's like trying to make a shit storm or something. Fuckery is afoot with it. I keep hearing fuckery is afoot. Someone's going to come forward and I feel like a cancer. You're someone just minding your own damn business, right? You're, you got, you got stuff to do. You got work to do. You're, you're more focused on your life, growth and expansion, career, family, home, whatever, right? And that's why I feel like when this person is done thinking about it and decides to be about it and comes forward, when they choose to come forward and say whatever this is they want to say, I feel like it's a sense of someone is, has been concocting. It's someone who's been concocting something, but fuckery is afoot. This person's concocting something. It's like, this is something that they've been thinking about for a long time, but they're concocting it. I, I, I don't like it. Fuckery is afoot with this bitch. You got someone external to both y'all. Fuckery is afoot. Now this could be someone who knows this person. I don't know. But this person, they're going to come in and I feel like they're going to, there's something that they want to tell you, but I feel like it's, it's a part of something that they're concocting as a form of, uh, uh, perhaps manipulation. Fuckery is in fact afoot. So be mindful of that. I don't know. That's, that's kind of weird because it's supposed to be the possible outcome between you two. But if it's coming out with someone else, a whole third energy separate to you, this could be possible outcome is dependent upon whatever fuckery that's afoot in regards to whoever this third energy is. Because I just heard yet to be determined. So perhaps the outcome between you and this King of Cups is yet to be determined because there's fuckery afoot with a third party energy. Take that however it resonates. But just be forewarned, Cancer. Fuckery is afoot outside of this connection that you came for. In fact, if that was a single reading, that's exactly what I would name that reading. Fuckery is afoot. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have for Leo spirit, please? The person Leo came to this reading for. Seven of Swords wanted to show itself. What is this person's feelings? How do they view Leo? And what is the possible outcome between these two? Messages, clarity, guidance, please. Messages, clarity, guidance. Leo. Four of Cups for their feelings, how they view Leo. Five of Swords. I just, I'm hearing, who sings that? In Sync or Backstreet? Quit playing games with my heart. I don't know which boy band sang that. Possible outcome between these two. Leo, that's 
you. Quit playing games with my heart. Three of swords under the deck. There's that seven of swords that want to show itself before. And then, Leo, there you are. Strength. All right. So clarify this four of cups for me, please. Why is the four of cups their feelings? Queen of Wands, we have a match. Under the deck, Four of Wands. Queen of Swords, now I'm hearing you're as cold as ice. Judgment and Knight of Pentacles. Why am I hearing bamboozled and hoodwinked? This person can feel a little bit bamboozled or hoodwinked. I don't know. For some of you, this person could have let their fears of being um, bamboozled, hoodwinked, whatever you want to call it, whatever the fuck that means, um, in regards to this connection. Because now I'm getting that song, You're Just Too Good To Be True. It's like almost like this person could have felt that you were putting on an illusion, trying to appear as something you're not, you know, because the... The magician, you know, he's a trickster. He's a magician, you know. He m makes you see what what you want, what they want you to see. And then with that Queen of Wands energy, you know, the Queen of Wands can also be seen as, you know, the witch of the tarot. I put a spell on you, and now you're mine. This person could feel that perhaps um, they had fears, that something was too good to be true, that, you know, maybe nothing, uh, something wasn't as it appeared to be and it wasn't what it, what they wanted or, you know, now they've lost out. It's like they didn't, they didn't want to get, they didn't get what they wanted out of the situation. They feel like they didn't get what they wanted out of the situation. But I feel like there's a sense of fears and stuff getting in the way that got in the way. They could feel that they didn't get what they wanted out of the situation because they let their fears get in the way of actually, you know, manifesting you. Especially if this is someone who has dealt with shit in before where it's like they have entertained people who, you know, they act, they act the type of way. Like, you know how people try to reel you in almost like a bait and switch of personality. It's like, oh, yeah, no, they, they appear to be everything you want and more. And then it's like, all right, but what are you hiding? You know, and it's almost like if this person was holding on to fears um, because of stuff from past baggage, basically, it could have gotten in the way. And it's like now they feel they could feel that they lost out because they kind of let their fears and, and their their own bullshit kind of get in between them actually manifesting you with that magician book ending the queen of wands energy tell me about the five of swords for how they view leo seven of pentacles Uh, hangman in a cups. Okay, not gonna lie, Leo. For some of you, this person sees you as a tease. You know, um, they, 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 you know what? Don't even let it get to you because you know what? The energy that I'm getting, it's almost like uh, you were playing. They view you as someone who was playing games, um, where it's like uh, maybe you wanted someone to like. Uh, like, because what I'm getting is almost like you wanted someone to earn you. And I feel like this is someone who feels like it was too difficult just to, like, kind of, you know, if this is someone who was, uh, who's used to just basically, you know, swiftly hooking up with whoever, whenever, you weren't looking for that. You know, with that Seven of Pentacles um, to the ace of wands it's like you could they, they could feel like you were playing games because you were taking too long to basically put out for some of you uh, almost like you wanted them to basically because uh, i'm hearing how bad do you want it it's like uh wanting them to basically fight their way for it where it's like you know prove themselves well how bad do you want it how bad do you want me for some of you they could view you as someone who it uh let the connection go stagnant Almost like as a forms of manipulation in the sense of like you were playing games because you were entertaining other people. For some of you, though, this person could feel like you put them in a competitive thing where it's like, uh, who wants who wants who wants me the most? Who wants who who wants me? Who's the one who who's going to win? You know, fight for my attention. Fight for my attention. May the best man win or woman. And it's like they could view you as, you know, if you're playing games like that. And I'm not saying that is you, Leo. That's just, you know, one of the, uh, for some of you, that's how, they're, that's how they're viewing you. You know, they could see you as someone who was basically wanting someone to to basically win them over. It's like, who, who wants me? If they saw that you had other people um, 
aiming for your attention and you weren't just kind of like directly giving your attention to them and you were actually entertaining these other people, it's almost like may the best man or woman win, you know, it, which ultimately led them to feeling like it was a waste of time, which would make sense with that, you know, hoodwinked and bamboozled type energy. Now, remember, this is just how they view you. That's their own personal perception. That doesn't mean that it's true. Again, they could be caught up in an old story that basically plays in their head all the time where it's like they feel that that's what's going to happen if that's what they've experienced in the past. So take that however it applies to you. Just because they think it or, you know, they're perceiving it that way it doesn't make it so. That's just their perception, what they're thinking, how they how they see you. Tell me about the King of Wands for possible outcome. High Priestess. You know what's funny? Before that Four of Wands jumped out, I was thinking of um, the energy of making moves in silence with that King of Wands to the thing. And then with that Four of Wands there, Leo, for some of you, you could actually be physically moving and not telling anyone about it. Six of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Six of Cups. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Lovers. <clears throat> so, Leo, what I feel for you is um, possible outcome. I feel like you're keeping your business to yourself. You're, you're, whatever you're doing, you're not telling anyone about it. Some of you, you could be entertaining a past connection with that Six of Cups. You could even uh, be moving in with someone from your past. Uh, that doesn't have to be a love partner. That could be, you know, um, you know, moving in with a relative or a friend. You know, I feel like whatever it is, you're, you're moving, but it's external to this other energy because you're keeping quiet. I feel like there's silence between the two of yous. This is more just of an outcome of, uh, for you is what it feels like. It just feels like your energy. I feel like there's a move that you're possibly doing though. You could be moving. I mean, for some of you, you could be moving into a relationship with someone. Could be someone from your past, some you know, a childhood sweetheart, something like that. But you're not you're not telling anyone about it. You're basically, you know, on this more kind of low key, keeping your business to yourself type energy, making moves in silence. For some of you, though, an actual physical move could even be a change in careers with that um, King of Pentacles. You could be relocating. Because you're changing uh, uh, careers um, and this career could be, uh, this job could be in a different location from where you are now. But again, you're, you're keeping that to yourself. You're keeping hush hush low key with that high priestess. You're not telling anyone. You're literally making moves in silence. So I hear, I'm hearing yet to be determined. Like if this was a single, uh, an individual read, I'd probably call it yet to be determined because the possible outcome isn't giving me anything in regards to you two in this connection, or perhaps you're just leaving it behind altogether, but it's more so pertaining to you and your energy alone on a singular level. You're just making moves in silence. Some of you an actual physical move. Some of you could be stepping into a relationship, uh, reconnecting with someone from your past, moving in together. Some of you are, you know, starting a new job and relocating for that job, but you're being very hush hush about it. You're, you know, mum's the word. You're not telling anyone. All right, Leo. Next up, Virgo. What messages, clarity, guidance do we have for Virgo, please? And the person Virgo came here for? What is this person feeling? How do they view Virgo? And what is the possible outcome between these two, please? Messages, clarity, guidance for Virgo, please. Messages, clarity, guidance for Virgo, please. For their feelings. Six of Pentacles. How they view you. Three of Swords. I keep hearing short change for that Six of Pentacles. Possible outcome between the two. Queen of Wands. Cancer had Queen of Wands in the same exact spot. So if you have Cancer in your chart, you might want to check that out. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Two of Wands. So why the Six of Pentacles for their feelings, please?
this person can feel like they um, that they chose to string you along because I'm seeing the strings in the Six of Pentacles. This person can feel that they chose that they purpose. It's like they they know that they purposely chose to lead you on while hiding the fact that they were in another connection. For others of you, this person feels that they strung you along. It's like they, they chose, they could feel that they fucked up and purposely chose to string you along because it's like the idea of relationships terrifies the shit out of them. This could be someone who doesn't normally do relationships like that. So if you know for a fact you know, there was no connection with anyone else, there was no third party, then take the other one. Where it's like, this person could uh, feel that they made a judgment call, a bad judgment call, uh, to string you along because they were, they were terrified of the idea of an actual relationship in and of itself. Oh, I'm getting Jesse J, uh, Jesse J, I want love. It's like a part of this person, they want love, they want connection, but at the same time, it terrifies the shit of them. Tower, two of swords, ace of swords. Tell me about the three of, yeah, but you know what? No, I felt, but you know what? For some, for a lot of you, it's it. For some of you, it will be that first one where it's like this person chose to purposely string you along, hiding the fact that they were already in another connection. Some of you could have actually found this out already, been blindsided by it, that this person was already involved. So for some of you, this person could have even had a whole damn family. Three of Swords for how they view you. Either way, they f they f they feel that you're hurt. They broke your heart. Really? Four of Wands. Emperor. A high Priestess. Ten of Wands. Page of, uh, page of Wands. Nine of Wands. Well, they view you as someone... If you're hurt, you're not putting it on. You're putting on a good game face. You're not showing it. If they know damn well that they hurt you, whether it was because you found out that they were already in another connection, or, you know, that just because they chose to string you along and it uh, basically went nowhere. They feel, they view you as someone who's hurt, but you have, you're putting on a strong face for the world. You're not speaking of it. Um, you're just basically, with that emperor card, there's a sense of putting on a game face. You, you, you're still like, uh, especially the emperor to the four of wands and the high priestess is like, you're not, you're not telling, you're basically not saying it. You're not showing it. You're putting on your game face. You get up, you go to work every day and act like nothing's there. But at the same time, they feel that it's all just, you know, kind for, sh it's basically just for show that they still feel that ultimately you're still hurt over this. They feel that, you know, you're still, you're hurt. They feel that you're heartbroken over this. That it still hurts. They feel that you're hurt, much as you might not be saying it or showing it and acting like, you know, everything's okay and going about your everyday routine. They still view you as someone as underneath all of that, they know that you're still hurting about this. Tell me about this Queen of Wands for possible outcome. Yeah, I keep getting strongly because I keep getting drawn by it. It's like this person purposely chose to string you along. Meanwhile, they were hiding the fact that they were in another connection with someone else. And again, for others of you, it's going to be, especially if you know for certain that there was no other connection, this person purposely chose to strung you along, knowing damn well that, you know, they were too scared to actually be in a relationship, too terrified of the idea. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands for the outcome, possible outcome for between these two. King of Wands. Temperance. Three of Wands, Five of Pentacles, the Empress. Virgo, I feel that the outcome is you're going to be caught off guard because I feel you have another connection coming in. I'm hearing with that Temperance card is a sense of right time, right place. 
I feel like you have something coming in where it's like you're going to be somewhere and it's going to be like a sense of serendip uh, serendipity, the right time, right place. And I feel like it's going to catch you off guard with that two of pentacles energy. And it's like, you're going to meet someone and it's like, you two are just going to click. I mean, we have the queen of wands to the king of wands. Three of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Empress Energy. Now we have the Empress to the Emperor. I feel, yeah, I feel I feel Virgo that you're just leaving this this situation behind you. I feel that you're leaving it behind you for good. And it's like you don't even see it coming, but it's like you, your ships are still gonna come in because it's like you have your match. We have the King of Wands to the Queen to the Queen of Wands, the Emperor to the Empress. And it's all because you're choosing to just leave this behind you and move forward. I feel you're moving on from this. And I feel that the outcome is you're going to meet someone else. It's going to throw you off because it's like you're not even looking for it at this point. Because if you look at this three of wands too, look, he can't look nowhere. His eyeball is literally hanging out of his damn socket. He ain't looking for nothing. He can't. You know, he's trying to catch that thing. So it's like it kind of blindsides you. It catches you off guard when you meet this person. But it's going to be a situation where it's like you could have a time, a day, a place where it's like you feel drawn or you feel kind of pushed where it's like you get a sense to go somewhere, go to a specific place at a specific time. It's that type of energy. And I sw I'm, I'm telling you, it's going to be like a sense of serendipity because it's like you're going to be doing your thing. They're going to be doing their theirs. And it's like boom, out of nowhere. It's like you two just like kind of are right there in each other's path. And I feel like it's going to catch you off guard. I don't know the depths of what happens from there. I don't feel I'm meant to know, but you got something else coming in. It's something that's a, it's a connection that's meant to be in a sense of divine timing, but this is going to be your equal, your person, queen of wands, king of wands, emperor to the empress. But it comes when you leave this other one behind. Five of pentacles. And you won't see it coming. It's like when you're no longer looking or waiting for anyone or everything, that's when it that's when it happens. That's usually when you find it, when you're not looking for it, right? I feel that's pretty much the type of energy that you're walking into. Some of you might actually walk into this person. Y'all might bump into each other. And it could spark up a conversation between the two of you. Messages, clarity, guidance for Libra, please. And the person that they came to this reading for. How is this person feeling? How do they view Libra? And what is the possible outcome between Libra and this person? Messages, clarity, guidance for Libra, please. Libra, what are their feelings? And Six of Swords, I'm hearing Maya. Was that case of the ex? I'm moving on. How they view you? Five of Swords. Possible outcome between these two. Possible outcome between these two. Three of Swords. Queen of Swords. <clears throat> Nine of Cups in the world. Hmm. All right. Why the Six of Swords for their feelings, please? Chariot. Tower. Queen of Cups. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. I'm getting Marilyn Manson tainted love. This person can feel that they need to move on. Six of Swords clarified with the Chariot, the Tower, and the Queen of Cups. Something could have happened between the two of you. There could have been an argument or some, you know, something. They could feel that uh, something happened to basically shake the foundation of this connection. I feel that with this Queen of Cups, if you look at it, 
I'm getting, this is where I'm getting the energy of tainted love. Uh, this person could feel that uh, the cup is now tainted, you know, whatever feelings were there are now tainted and tarnished. Uh, something happened between the two of you. I don't know. Yous are going to know with that tower card. Again, you guys could have had a fight or something could have come out. It's going to be different for all of you, but I feel that ultimately this person is, they feel that they must move on. Um, literally six of swords to the chariot, to the tower and the queen of cups. It's like whatever happened between the two of you, this person feels that they must move on. I feel that the feelings, uh, whatever happened, the, the feelings are just not the same. Whatever happened, it feel, they feel like uh, the emotions are tarnished now. I mean, that's pretty clear cut. It's whatever happened. I don't know what this tower is. This tower is going to be different for all of you. Some of you could have had a major blowout and they feel that there's no coming back to it. They could feel that there's no coming back from it. For some of you, this could have been an explosive fight where someone's like, like you know what, I, I, I'm leaving. And they could have just, you know, grabbed their shit and got in the car and moved out if you all lived together. With that Six of Swords chariot. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why the Five of Swords for how they view Libra? Eight of Cups, Page of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. So Libra, I'm hearing come and go as you please. This person can view you as someone, almost like uh, someone who's basically playing games. Like uh, almost like you, uh, now remember I'm not saying this is true. This is just their how they're viewing you, their perception of you, Com you know, doesn't mean that's what it is but they view us view you blah, blah, blah. they view you as someone who was playing games possibly uh, manipulative with that five of uh swords this could have been an on and off situation where it's almost like they could view you as someone who kind of felt that you know they wouldn't go anywhere that you wouldn't go yeah that or they i don't know i feel a heavy sense of on and off it's like this feels like a connection that really just it was always stuck in the same thing, uh, same cycle even, where it's like there was never any change. Again, could have been very heavy on and off. Because with the hangman energy, I feel like this is someone it was on and off. I mean, you, you could, they, they could, they could be you as someone who was very manipulative, would basically, you know, on and off, could have been on and off with communication because the high priestess, she's quiet. She doesn't always speak, right? Um, and with that five of pentacles, they could, for some of you, they could be you as someone who basically, you know, left them out. It's almost like this is someone, they, they view you as someone who felt that they could basically, that, oh, okay, I don't know why, maybe you're dealing with another Libra or something, or maybe you both have Libra in your chart, because I feel like there's crossing where it's like the energy keeps going back and forth, back and forth. It, it's like they could view you as someone who feels that they can just come in and out of their life. You know, almost like with that hangman energy, it's a sense of you could put the, the connection on a shelf. Nothing comes of it, you know, uh, basically come back around and, you know, basically it's a type of energy. It's a very heavy where it's like there would be no communication, but it was on purpose, almost like purposely putting this connection on on a type of hold. Because there's a sense of manipulation and games where it's like perhaps they view you as someone who felt that they could be in and out, you know, uh, go quiet, then come back, go quiet, then come back. It, there's something about on and off, hot and cold, quiet, not quiet, and tactics, manipulative tactics. Now again, Libra, that doesn't mean that is true. That's just the perception of you. That's how they, that's how they view you. That doesn't mean that what's their truth is yours. So take it however uh, however it resonates. Or if you have to, you know, flip the energies around. It's like they view you as someone who thought they would never walk away. Like, you can't walk away from me. Look at me. Look at me. I'm unforgettable. You can't walk away. I, I feel that this is something that there was a heavy sense of stagnancy, you know? They could view you as someone who wasted their time even. And again, Page of Cups, he could be manipulative as well. They, they could view you as someone who was a, like a waste of time. And it's like, because there's a sense of, they view you as someone who felt that they would never truly walk away. Even if they tried, they couldn't, you know? It's almost like, 
Uh, they view you as someone who felt that your cup was so special it would just keep them there forever. I don't know. Again, this could have been someone who it was very on and off with as well. You know, break up to make up, make up to break up. I keep hearing Kate Perry's hot and cold. They could even view you, especially because I keep getting that song hot and cold. And if this is like one of those make up to break up, break up to make up type of connections, you know, th this person can view you as someone who purposely goes quiet, goes ghost. Um, and, and it's like, you could even expect them, you know, well, you know, you come back almost like who's going to break the ice first, you know, and I don't know. It just feels, it just feels like a petty game, really. It's like, I'm feeling like petty childish games. It could view you as someone who just wants to play petty childish games. And it's like, it's easier just not to talk to or say anything at all. I don't know. Again, Libra, just because that's, that's how they're viewing you. It doesn't mean that's the truth. That's their truth. It doesn't mean it's yours. And if it doesn't resonate, flip it if you need to, or check your chart and check your other placements. Tell me about the three of swords for the possible outcome between these two. There you are, Libra. Queen of Swords, Nine of Cups, the world. I feel like you're moving on past this. I feel like this is a cycle that you're closing out. Um, with that Three of Swords, with the Devil, and the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, someone might be coming in here trying to offer... Um, someone's making an offer here. I, I don't... Especially because I feel that you're closing this out, Libra. I don't know. Someone is, someone is, or, or maybe you're dealing with another air sign. I don't know. Someone is making an offer of love, a gesture. Um, I feel like this is something that, uh, or, or it could be a, a renewal. Someone could want to renew the cup because cups, aces aren't just, you know, new beginnings. They can also be a sense of renewal, especially if this is someone who you had an on and off, on and off relationship. I feel like someone's um, taking their time with, uh, coming forward, wanting to try again, because now I'm getting Leah's try again. But I feel that ultimately someone else is viewing who, whoever's being offered, um, the cup there. I, I feel there's a sense of they view it as toxic and know that they're just going to get hurt in the long haul. So I don't know. I don't know if they're actually going to accept it. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at this, uh, Ace of Cups. Cause you see, you have the bat there with the pumpkin and he hasn't really put his pumpkin in that cup. It's like, I'm not, I'm not sure if I really want to invest in this. You know, I'm not sure if I even want to give to this anymore because at this point, this is just toxic. And I'm going to get hurt in the long haul. And so someone might just be saying, you know what? I'm just going to fly past this one. It's a no dog, you know? So someone's turning down an offer um, because they just see it as it's a, it's a toxic cycle and it's just going to end up the same way it was the last time in the long haul. So take that however it resonates to you, Libra. Tell me about Scorpio, please, and the person that they came to this reading for. What is this person feeling? How do they view Scorpio? And possible outcome of this connection, please. Scorpio. What are they feeling? I got Paul Abdul's Rush Rush. How they view Scorpio? The moon. Possible outcome between these two. Too many. Just one, please. Possible outcome between these two. One card, please. Thank you. Oh, Wheel of Fortune. Another deck, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ten of Wands. All right, why the Eight of Wands for their feelings for Scorpio, please? Nine of Pentacles, Sun, Six of Pentacles. With that 
Eight of Wands, it's almost like this person, it's like they feel an urge to kind of rush in. For some of you, this, for some of you they could feel like you're trying to rush something on them. Uh, you, They could feel that you're trying to rush a sense of uh, commitment, possibly. Um, and it's like they feel that, you know, perhaps we should just, like, kind of hold back, slow it down. Like, whoa, Nelly. It's almost like, uh, whoa, Nelly, you know, uh, I love the attention you're giving me with that Six of Wands energy. But I, I, for some of you, I just heard, but we just met, you know. I don't know. So maybe this is someone who just feels like uh, they could feel like maybe you're trying to rush things a bit too fast. Oh, I just heard stage nine clinger. Yeah, for, uh, for the most part, I'm just feeling that they just feel that a sense of uh, you might um, they could feel that you want to rush things a bit too fast. You know, it's almost like, whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down. You know, it's like, let, let's let's hold the brakes, pump the brakes with that strength card. It's like, you know, let's hold back a little bit. You know, let's just enjoy the, let's just enjoy the now with that six of ones. Let's just enjoy, you know, the fact, you know, the attention that, you know, we're giving each other right now. Let's just see where it goes, you know. It's like kind of slow and steady wins the race type of energy. It's like not wanting to just, you know, rush off into the sunset immediately. It's like just, this person doesn't want to be rushed. Tell me about the moon energy for how they view Scorpio. so on I feel it goes this way seven of Pentacles seven of Pentacles five of Pentacles six of ones which I write they view you as someone who's not quite ready yet. It's like you could you could come off as someone who's ready to, you know, kind of, you know, go into something, you know, yeah, I'm ready for this change. Um, but it's like they view you as something. There's more there's more to it than that. You know, uh, I, I feel like with that full sideways, it's almost like especially crossing the uh, Ace of Wands. It's a sense of you might be trying to come off as uh, like, say, because I mean, with the death card, I mean, it's, you, it's like standing in your power and, sh and shit. But I f with that moon card, there is a sense of it's like, are you trying to rush into something for all the, r the wrong reasons? It, it's like they view you as someone you want to kind of move things forward in a certain way. But it's like there's something telling them that you're not really ready for it yet. It's almost like there's hidden reasons or hidden purpose. It's almost like I'm getting pretty reckless as a, uh, a group. Um, they can view you as someone. It's like almost like kind of being somewhat reckless with that full card sideways because it's like they feel like there's something more to it. There's something more to it if, if you're trying to rush into something. They feel like there's something else behind it. There's something more to it. Yeah, there's something else that you're not telling about, that you're not saying, that you're speaking, that you're hiding, could even be hiding from yourself with that uh, moon behind the death card. But I feel that if they feel that you're trying to rush things, um, they feel that, you know, you're you're being um, somewhat reckless because it's like you're not really quite ready for something serious with that King of Pentacles because it's like there's something, there, like there's something behind it. There's got to be something behind it. Why are you trying to rush this? Is what I'm hearing. Why are you trying to rush this? What 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 are you hiding? What's behind this? That's what I keep hearing. So it's like if they feel that you're trying to rush into something with them, it's like they feel that you're being kind of reckless. Um, that you know maybe you're both not ready to just go in whatever this is, and it's just like they feel that there's something hidden. There's like a hidden motive. There's something hidden behind it. There's something you're not telling them, especially if they feel that you know you're just you're trying to rush them. Especially if they view you as someone who's kind of coming out of nowhere with this seven of pentacles, five of pentacles, six of swords. It's like if it like say if this is someone who you haven't spoken to in a while, someone who you even ghosted, you know, or Scorpio re reverse the energies if you need to. But it's like it's been a while since you spoke to this person or whatever. And it's like all of a sudden they, they come in with that six of swords and just like almost like wanting to comb things over and then just rush to the good part. Because now I just got that uh, song where it's, can we skip to the good part? It's like they come in and it, well, they view you as wanting, uh, how they're viewing you is like coming in and just like wanting to skip to the good part. And it's like kind of being kind of reckless about it. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. where did this come from? What, what is, what, what's, there's something you're hiding. What's going on? Why all of a sudden? I don't know. <laughs> Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune for possible outcome between these two. 
Five of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. One more, please. Justice, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, the Lovers. Okay, so clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, we have Five of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, and the Hermit. <sighs> okay, so there's a need to be smart. Um, I'm, I mean, this could have a positive outcome. This could have a turn for the better, but there's a sense of someone is not feeling that someone is sincere with that Five of Cups energy. Um, and I feel that there's a sense of be smart about how you go about things. Um, especially if you're just like, uh, like say if this is someone who, you know, um, things you just stop talking to, you haven't spoken to them for a while. And then it's like all of a sudden, oh my God, I love you. I want to be you. Come on. No, no. And it's like, mm, no, they're going to see it as something that's completely insincere. They're going to, especially if you're coming and trying to act like nothing ever happened, you know, then they're going to be like, you don't even care about what you did. I mean, where have you been all this time? How can you, like, they, they can feel that there's something completely insincere, you know, hence feeling like you're hiding something. Um, like, something's off. There, there's something you're, you're not telling me. Or there's something that you're hiding. They, like, out of nowhere is what I'm feeling. Because I'm hearing Miley Cyrus, uh, Cyrus uh, Wrecking Ball. But it's like, Scorpio, if this is you, or Crosswatcher, you know, take it however it resonates. I feel like there's a sense of, being wise in how you go about this, you know, being smart. Um, especially if there's been silence between the two of you with that hermit card. I feel that, again, it has it has uh, the potential for favorable outcome with that Wheel of Fortune. But it's a two-way street with that Eight of Pentacles. It's like you have to put in the work. You can't just, you know, go in somewhere, especially you got, especially if you guys haven't been talking for a while, you can't just go in there and be like, you know, hey, out of the blue, like, hey, yeah, hey, hey, let's let, let's do this. Let, let, let's get, really? The parent trap? Let's get together. No, no, no. Okay, but it's like, hey, hey, hey let's get together. Let, let, let's, let's collaborate. Let's, let's work together. Let's do this. Let's do this, right? And it's just like, it, it comes off as insincere and ingenuine because it's like, especially if you haven't spoken to this person in so long, it's like, how do you expect us? You know, I was putting in work, you weren't. And it's like, what? It's like, you have, you have to make an actual effort. Take the time. Don't come off as insincere. For others of you, someone, someone very well, uh, very well may just kind of stay to themselves and leave the situation kind of where it lies with that hermit energy because of the fact that they feel someone is just insincere. There's something insincere and ingenuine, um, ingenuine, disgenuine, whatever the hell you call it, um, in regards to this. And they might just focus more on their career. Scorpio, that could be you. Crosswatcher, that could be you. And it's like, uh, they might feel that, you know, that, you know, things, if, especially if things are going better in their career. And this is a situation where it's like, uh, Hmm. I'm hearing pick uh, someone had to pick themselves up by the bootstraps and just basically pick themselves up and just, you know, focus the, themselves somewhere else. I don't know. It's kind of a mixed bag is what I feel, which is appropriate because in this Wheel of Fortune, he's literally throwing candies all over. It's kind of a mixed bag. I mean, for some of you, there's a sense of wanting to make things work and they could work out for a favorable outcome. But, you know, there's a sense of, you know, be smart about it. Be smart about it and don't, you know, don't don't be uh, trying to rush off and um, just acting like there's there's something insincere or, you know, care, careless. Don't be careless either. You know, whether that's you, Scorpio, or Crosswatcher. And for others of you, you very well may choose to just be like, you know what? Let dead dogs lie. It's just something that you're you're a little smarter, wiser from. Especially if you feel that this person, you know, is someone who kind of is careless, doesn't care, and insincere. I keep hearing insincere, so. And it's like more just focusing on your work because work's going in a good direction anyway and you don't need the distraction. It's going to be different for all of you, really. So take that however it resonates. Sagittarius. Messages, clarity, guidance for Sagittarius, please, and the person that they came to this reading for. What, are the, what is this person's feelings? 
How do they view Sagittarius? And what is the possible outcome between these two? Sagi. Someone else had the Ten of Wands there. I don't remember who, though. How do they view Sag? Strength in reverse. Possible outcome for the connection. Emperor. Under the deck, Four of Wands. Page of Wands, Queen of Wands. All right. Why the Ten of Wands for their feelings, please? I feel I had a, a similar energy in another reading and the lovers was a part of it. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Death card. I had, an, uh, there was a reading where the energy was similar and some of the cards were similar as well. I can't remember which one. So check your chart and check your other placements because you might be tied to whatever that reading was. Um, honestly, for some of you, I'm pretty sure I had a similar energy which involved, you know, some of you, there could be marriage involved in this. For others of you, it could be someone, you know, long-term relationship. They could feel that the connection just became too difficult, especially where it's like, uh, say if this was a uh, this was a relationship, uh, they could feel that someone being too in and out, wanting to act like they're single, it was just too much, and they just have nothing left to give to the connection with that Queen of Cups in reverse. There's a sense of if someone was in a connection and they were choosing to act, they, they could feel like you were just trying to act single. And it's like with that Queen of Cups in reverse, it's almost like, you know what? I just, I have nothing left to give. I feel like uh, they felt that there was just too many strands on the connection, especially if someone was, uh, you know, Sag, the Knight of Wands. It's like they could view you as someone who was too in and out, trying to act like you were single, even though you were in a connection with that lover's card. And I feel that the burden just became too much. Where it's just like, especially if there was any stepping out in the connection, because the lovers can also be a choice with the nine of wands there. And I just feel like they feel that it just became too much where it's just like they had no emotion left. They have nothing left to give to the connection with, with it was too much to bear. It is too much to bear with that queen of cups in reverse. Uh, there's nothing left to give. It, it's like the cup's been drained dry. Now with the strength card in reverse, why the strength card in reverse for how they view you? I'm hearing, what was that Lisa Kemp, Temptation? And with the strength in reverse, I was feeling weak. For some of you, they could view you as someone who's weak and gives into temptation easily. Two of Wands, again, that's their perception. Doesn't mean it's true, Sagittarius, or reverse the energies if need be. Tell me about the strength in reverse for how they view Sag. Yeah, there's that Temptation. Yeah, so, yeah. Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Sag, you know, reverse this if you need to, you know. I'm, I'm, don't get, don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. They view you as someone who's weak. You always choose to give in to temptation. And then it's like, you could just come back around and act like, you know, oh, I'm sorry, I'll make it up with that Page of Pentacles. Because the pe Page of Pentacles, this is someone, you know, this is like 3D uh, life, you know. So if someone's, you know, coming to you with an apology, this is someone, you know, oh, here, let me get you flowers. Or, you know, you know I'll make it up to you. But they view you as someone who's weak and always you always choose to give in to temptation. It's like a toxic loop. Now, again, reverse it if you need to. Don't shoot the messenger. Tell me about the Emperor for possible outcome. Oh, shit. King of Wands in reverse. Ace of Wands. 
Someone's gonna lose their shit. I'm hearing, uh, what's that? What is that YouTube? Is that YouTube where it's like, sometimes I just don't care. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a sense of someone's gonna be, because with that King of Wands energy, I, I'm, I'm feeling the energy of someone losing their shit, you know? The, the Queen of Wands in reverse, you know? He can be very aggressive, uh, especially if they don't get their way. You know, and for that to clarify the emperor, it, it's like it, it, someone could be trying to uh, be controlling of the situation and just basically lose all shit in the situation. It's almost like an energy with that nine of wands. It's like so the, the energy I'm getting with the nine of wands is weird because it's almost like an energy of like uh, almost like someone almost like defending what they did. It's so weird. If this is a connection that's not together. We're used to have already broken up and whatever. I feel that someone could come in wanting to have another start. Almost like with that emperor energy, it's like, well, that's all right. You know, I, I'll get, I'll, 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 I'll get control of the situation. You know, we'll start over again. You know, I'll get a hold on everything. You see how he's holding the pumpkin head? I'll get a hold of this. Don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll get in the emperor. He, you know, he's controlling, but I feel that. It's not going to work out and someone's going to lose their shit because I feel that whoever isn't having this anymore, they're standing their ground with that nine of wands and someone's pissed off that they're not getting their way. Because it's always the same. Someone doesn't care. They act like they're sorry, but really they're not. They're careless in regards to the connection. And just, they keep going, they, well, I mean, Sag, it's you. Well, that's what, you know. Again, reverse it if you need to. Don't shoot the messenger. Someone's not going to be happy. For others of you, I just got another thing. For some of you, someone's going to end up starting something new with someone else. And it's going to piss a mofo off. But I'll tell you what, whoever this emperor energy is, they ain't going to let anyone get in the way of their new start. So that could be you, Sag. That could be this person. Someone could be having a whole new start with someone else and someone else is pissed off about it. But with that nine of wands there, nothing's getting in between this, this new beginning. And the emperor, he doesn't play. He's the emperor and that's emperor upright. But whoever this king of wands in reverse is, they are gonna be pissed. Yeah, so that's what I got. Put yourself on whichever side of the board you need to, Sag. Again, don't shoot the messenger. Not every reading is, you know, roses and gumdrops and unicorn unicorn farts i'm not here to basically blow smoke up your ass and tell you what you want to hear i'm just telling you what the cards say all right all right next up capricorn messages clarity guidance for capricorn please messages clarity guidance for capricorn please and the person they came to this reading about what does this person feel how do they view Capricorn? And what's the possible outcome between these two? Happy. Whoa, shit. We got a jumper. Ow. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. Which, you know, is funny enough, you know. Ow, that hurt when I had to do that, but yeah. Ow, that hurt. That would hurt. I mean, look at his eye. That would hurt. <laughs> All right. How they view Capricorn. Oh, I'm getting a little, uh, a little pep and energy now. So maybe there's something in the energy for this reading, Capricorn. I don't know. The fool. Possible outcome for the connection, please. Seven of Cups. I wonder. I wonder. Ten of Pentacles. King of Cups. Hangman. All right. Why the Three of Wands for their feelings, please? Shit. King of Wands.
Two of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords. For some of you, for some of you, this person uh, feels like uh, there's something that you're hiding and it's only a matter of time before it, it comes out, before it comes to light. It's like they could feel like they're waiting for some form of truth to come out. Oh, uh, for some of you, this person can feel like they're holding on to a false sense of hope as well. Almost like waiting in vain. Someone could feel like they're holding on to a false sense of hope, almost like waiting in vain. Tell me about the Fool card for how they view Capricorn. Eight of Cups. Five of Wands. The Sun. Four of Cups. They view you as someone who chose to basically, it's like they view you as someone who it's over with. You chose to go in a different direction. You chose to take a chance on yourself because it's like you had a sense of clarity of, of what this, if this is someone who always brought some form of drama or anything in your life, there's a sense of, you know what, this is too much. I got to walk away. And yet I feel there's a sense of false sense of hope. It's like Capricorn, if you've walked away from this person, Especially if this is someone you always fought with, there was always problems. This could be someone who you had an on and off again. But I feel like with this Eight of Cups, you see how that one cup is right there? It sticks out the most. It's kind of like in the way. It's almost like this is where this person, it, it's like almost even if they see you walking away from all the the drama and whatever the hell that you guys went through, because you you're 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 walk you're going off towards your own happiness because this full card is walking to the sun you know you're, you're choosing your own happiness putting your happiness first but it's like there's still a false sense of hope that this person holds that you know you've walked away but have you or will this come back around it's like this person's waiting around holding on to a false sense of hope yeah it's like they lost their chance with you but I feel that you've honestly just moved on. Tell me about the Seven of Cups for possible outcome. I feel like this person's just going to stay living in La La Land. Yeah. Yeah, Capricorn, I feel that you've just moved on from this one. Yeah, Tower, Page of Cups, Temperance. Capricorn, I feel that you're just, you know, you've moved on from this. You've moved on from this. You, for some of you, you could be dating, but I don't really feel it that much. I mean, you could be exploring your options. But I feel that with this person, there's a sense of, even though you two aren't speaking, this person is still fantasizing about, you know, uh, getting what they want. You know, having this win where it's like you two come back together. They're it's like they're living in La La Land. They're completely going to be staying in La La Land in this fantasy that... Uh, who's that? Mariah Carey? Ooh, baby, baby, we belong together. It's like they feel like you two belong together. Now I'm getting, who sings that? Is that Snow White or Cinderella? Someday my prince will come. It's like they feel that, you know, someday you'll come back. We will be back together. And they're really holding on to this false sense of hope that, you know, you two are really going to come back together. But I feel, Capricorn, that you have gone in a whole different direction one where, you know, you, you're you happy. You have ha happiness. It's like you walked away from all this. You walked away from whatever chaos, drama, whatever the hell this brought. You're done. You you finally detached and walked away towards, you know, your own sense of fulfillment, your own happiness, independent of all this. But this person, they're just living in the theater of their mind right now, holding on to that false sense of hope. For some of you, this person's watching you online as well. For some of you, I feel that that bubble's going to get burst to that false sense of hope because I feel that especially if they're watching you online, I feel like one day you, they're going to see whether it's you talking to someone else or, you know, you just, you know, they, yep, get, because it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time until you're in a new connection. And I'm telling you, especially if this person's watching you online, this person's going to basically really, really get hit with a full sense of karma. Because it's like, I feel like, especially they're watching you online, 
because they're still holding on to this false sense of hope that, you know, oh, we're going to, they, they, they always walk away, they, 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 but they always come back. We'll, we're meant to be together. You know, this is my forever person. We will always be. Yeah. Then they're going to see that you've actually moved on to another connection and it's literally going to like burst their bubble and just like, it's like going to crush them really. Yeah. So that's what I got for you, Capricorn. You got someone living in La La Land, holding on to false hope that you two will be together again. And I'm telling you, they're watching you online. Now I'm getting, um, Aaliyah, are you that somebody? But it's the, the beginning verse where it's like, I've been watching you like a hawk in the sky and you were my prey. It's like they're watching you like a hawk, like you're a prey. And it's like, they're just waiting. They really, really, really feel like you two are going to come back together. But I feel like you're moving on to something new, Capricorn. You got something new coming down the line. Um, I can't say when, especially we had that temperance card. Basically, when it's meant to come together, it will come together with someone else. Um, but yeah, with them watching you online, they're going to end up seeing it when you do get up in this relationship and it's going to crumble them. It's going to basically destroy their world. Next up, Aquarius. Messages, clarity, guidance for Aquarius, please. Messages, clarity, guidance for Aquarius, please. And the person that they came to this reading for. What is this person feeling? How do they view Aquarius? And what is the possible outcome between the two of these people? Aquarius. Their feelings, please. What oh, shit. Yeah, they're all over the place because they can't move on for shit. Six of swords in reverse. How they view Aquarius? Excuse me. How do they view Aquarius, please? Our mind is made up. Possible outcome for these two, please. What is that string? Hold on. Okay, the magician. Emperor of the world. Okay. Why the six of swords in reverse for their feelings for Aquarius? Why is the six of swords in reverse? Oh, shit. Okay. The star, that's you, Aquarius. The Eight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Fool. This is someone who you keep going around in circles with. I feel it. Like this is the energy. <clears throat> this is someone who you have uh, problems with all the time. Um, it's like what I keep getting is like they, they could feel that whether it's they keep coming back or you you'll you'll you keep coming back. I feel like the energy that I'm getting is uh, it's almost like they feel that you guys keep going around in circles. Um, no matter what, you can't get to a good place. Uh, you're on and off, back and forth. Uh, you could they could feel that um, it, it's like you could break up or have a fight, and it's like when you come back around to each other, it's like, yeah, there's like flirting, there's sex, but it, it's all just like wasted time because it's like with that seven of pentacles and to the seven of cups, it's like, uh, we're, it's almost like we're, we're wasting our time. They, they could feel like you are wasting your time together. It's like you, you feed each other these illusions that it's going to get better, but it's not with that six of swords in reverse. Um, it, it, they could even feel it's become a bit toxic, you know, like a toxic cycle. It's like, like we can never get past this fight um, or this problem. And it's like, almost like, you know how if you have a, let's say you're in a relationship and you fight, you break up, you make up, but you never really resolve the issue. If anything, you'll just, you know, use talk and then, you know, someone says something flirty or, you know, regardless, you, you just lead up to a roll in the hay and it's like, oh, well, you know, we had sex, so we're back together. And it's like, meanwhile, nothing's ever truly getting resolved. Nothing's ever getting said and done. Meanwhile, you know, we, because we slept together, there's like this illusion in our head. Oh yeah, no, we're back together. You know, things are going to be great now, but it's like, no, it's really not. Cause you just keep going in circles because no one's facing the actual issues. No one's actually discussing anything. They're just basically 
putting a patch with, you know, laying some D or P on it, you know? It's like, if you're just, you know, using sex as a band-aid, which this is, this is what it feels like. It feels like there's a feeling they could feel that sex is like a band-aid, but you are basically just going in circles and going nowhere fast. Who sings that Post Malone? Mm-hmm, but we're going in circles. Mm-hmm, bum, bum. I think it's time to, I th- yeah, what is it? I think it's time to let you go. Let it go. I don't know. But again, that, that actually pr- pretty much goes with this, where it's like you're running in circles. And, and they could feel that, you know what, it's time to let this go because we're just lying to ourselves. Nothing ever changes. Nothing ever gets resolved. You know, we're using sex as a Band-Aid. Meanwhile, we can't even get along. We can't even stand to be in the same room with each other. Tell me about the two of wands in reverse for how they view Aquarius. Four of Cups, Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, they could view you as someone who's pushing them away or who has pushed them away. For some of you, they could view you as someone who's blocked them. For some of you, they can view you as someone who, it's like you could uh, try to say you want to be friends, but meanwhile, there's, even if you try to be friends, you still end up, you know, hooking up. For some of you, they can, now, it because this actually runs with what I was feeling when I was looking under the deck before and I had seen the Queen of Wands. For some of you, this, this person can view you as someone who's purposely pushing them away because you want to go entertain third parties. It's like you want to be with other people. You don't want to be with just them. So if this is a situation where, let's say, you always have arguments over, um, uh, whether it's jealous, uh, jealousy or, you know, uh, someone feels that someone's stepping out on the connection, they could view you as purposely trying to push them away because you want to go be with other people. Or they could view, view you as someone who purposely pushed them away because you are entertaining a third party of some sort. Don't shoot the messenger, Aquarius. Reverse it if you need to. Remember, I'm not blowing smoke and rainbows and fucking unicorn farts up your ass. I'm just reading what's on the table. Yeah, but I get a heavy sense of being pushed away. It's almost like uh, they view it as almost like a roadblock even where they could view that, you know, that there's a big roadblock in here. Even if it's not that you're actually stepping out, they could just feel that you're entertaining third party energies where it's like, even if you know, even if it's like you're not stepping out, it's like you're maybe they could feel that you're entertaining people who they know want you. I don't know. And it's like a roadblock. I feel like there's jealousy issues. I feel that there's definitely, definitely jealousy issues here, um, insecurities, and a lot of it has to do with someone stepping out or entertaining third-party energies. Someone's not getting what they, someone's not getting what they want here. Tell me about the magician. Oh, shit. I'm getting pop 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 poker face pop pop poker face bum bum bum. <laughs> yep, there you are, Aquarius. Oh, hangman, Knight of Cups, King of Cups. So there's an energy of still being kind of hung up on the situation. Um, with that magician, with the Emperor and the King of Swords and the Page of Swords here. Well, I feel that there's a lot of. Uh, oh yeah, in this magician card, you have the cards playing all over, uh, flying all over. Poker face. I feel there's a heavy sense of poker face going on. I feel that there's not really much in the ways of communication. Um, I just feel a lot of game face. Uh, this could be you. This could be them. This could be both of you, honestly. But I feel that there's um, there's a sense of... It's like a show being put on, you know, because the magician, he he's a performer. He puts on shows. He paints the illusion, you know, and then with that emperor, you know, this is someone who, you know, they have their game face. They're in control. They're well, you know, they, nothing is going to basically with that king of swords, though. Again, this is being smart and strategic about it. It's like this is someone Aquarius. This could be you. This could be both of you, really. 
Um, but I definitely feel you. Um, but there is, there is watching, there is stalking with that page of swords in reverse. There's no communication, but there is keeping an eye on each other, uh, or keeping an eye on someone's keeping an eye on someone. But for some of you, it could be both of you's keeping an eye on each other. I feel that you're both basically putting on a game face. It's like playing poker. You are not letting each other see that you're bothered or anything. But I do feel an energy that, you know, you're both kind of hung up on the situation. Because at the end of the day, there's still feelings there. No one wants to let it be known. And everyone's basically going to be wearing their poker face, you know, putting on their game face, going through their every day to day things, every day to day situation, but not wanting the world or the other person to know just how much they're affected or that they, you know, even though they're not talking, they're keeping an eye on each other. So a lot of watching, somewhat waiting, but definitely stuck on the situation. Just playing poker here. Game face, game on is what I just heard. Yeah. So nothing much going on except for people putting on a show for each other. Two people putting on a show for another person that they're not talking to. Meanwhile, they're both looking dead at each other. Yeah. So that's what I got for you, Aquarius. All right. Last and most certainly not least, Pisces. What messages, geez, Louise. What messages, clarity, guidance do we have for Pisces, please? Messages, clarity, guidance for Pisces and the person that they came to this reading for. What is this person feeling? How do they view Pisces? And what is the possible outcome between the two? Pisces. Lisa Stansfield. Been around the world and I, I, I. I can't find my baby. I don't know when I don't know why. Why he's going away and I don't know where he can be. My baby. But I'm gonna find him. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles, King of Wands, Six of Cups. <clears throat> Tell me about the world for their feelings. No oh, shit. Bump, 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 bump. Jump on it. Down, down it. Jump on it. <laughs> that was random. Oh, shit. Well, Pisces, I feel that they want to jump on it. It's like they've been around the world. They've they've been looking for someone. Oh, I'm getting that song. I've been waiting for a girl like you to come into my life. Male and female, it doesn't matter. That's just a song lyric. But it's like this person has probably been through been through a lot. You know, especially in the search for love. And I feel like there's an energy of it's like they just they want to jump on it. It's like they feel like you're very they, there can be a lot of growth and expansion here with that empress. Someone who's loving, nurturing, caring, someone who they want to be with, who they look forward to seeing. I'm always getting an energy where it's like almost like they feel like the urge to like kind of just like kind of rush in and they almost like they need to sweep you off your feet. Yeah, wifey material or husband. Take it however it resonates. Tell me about the hermit. Why the hermit? They could view you as someone who kind of quiet, reserved, stays to yourself. Tell me more about this hermit, please. Six of wands. Oh, shit. Seven of Wands. Getting almost like a sense of 
how they view you. What I'm feeling is it's like an energy of someone who is more quiet to themselves, um, doesn't really like attention, a bit more reserved, um, someone who's just comfortable. Mm, how do I express this? Bit of a homebody. It, it's like you're someone who's kind of quiet, a little bit reserved, and just, you know, a bit of a homebody. I, I feel like uh, when, when that Six of Wands drew out, I feel, I feel the energy of like, um, you know, much as you could be someone who's quiet, reserved to yourself, it, it's almost like, and yet, if you walk into a room, it's like all eyes on you. It's like you're you're someone who can like kind of call in the attention of the room, like kind of own a room when you walk into it. But I feel that there's a sense of energy where it's like they also view you as someone, you, much as you can get attention, you don't like it with that nine of swords there. You just see, you're more so one of those uh, quiet homebody types. It's like, um, just leave me be, you know? I enjoy my silence. I enjoy the solitude. Um, yeah, it's like... But again, they they also view you as someone who it's like if you w walk into a room, you kind of own it. It's like all eyes on you. You can get a lot of attention, um, but you don't like attention. You're just more so kind of reserved into yourself, you know, um, could feel could feel that you're a bit of an old soul as well. I'm getting that. It's like. You, you know, and not, not to say like you're like a hermit living in a cave, you know, and never ever socialize. It's like you, I feel that you're, so, they view you as someone. It's like, yeah, you, you do have friends, you do socialize, you do entertain, but it's like you kind of keep, you know, you keep a good healthy distance, you know, when it comes to all that, you know, it's like you, you got them at a bit of a distance where it's like you have your own bubble. You have like your own little energetic bubble. That's like your, your, your your sanctuary and it's just like okay that's play no this is my sanctuary I'm in my sanctuary let me be please thank you it's like you know you, you they could be you as someone who kind of keeps people at arm's length and it's because it's like you're more of a loner is what i'm feeling and whereas yeah you can be like uh the life of the party or a bit of a socialite it's like it's not something that you really are into because Again, it's, it's like, I feel like you don't really like attention with that nine of swords to the six of wands. I feel like you find peace more just, you know, when the, when the spotlight's not on you. Hmm. Tell me about the Hierophant and eight of swords for possible outcome between these two. The moon. Eight of pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Lovely. So, I feel that things can take a turn. Uh, there, there could come a time where things just feel like they're getting a bit more serious and someone is kind of scared of that. Um, someone could also have fears of being left, fears of abandonment is what I'm feeling. If that's the case, I feel that someone's going to put in the work to, you know, kind of ease someone's fears. Like, I'm not going anywhere. I, I told you, bitch, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. You're stuck with me. But I, I feel that there's going to be a sense of still feeling a bit unease because there it, there does seem to be um, someone needs to heal something in regards to abandonment issues. Because I do feel that this could lead to something, uh, to higher levels of commitment with that Hierophant and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, but again... Someone needs to work on their fears of abandonment issues. Someone has a strong fear of abandonment, so they need to work on those issues is what I keep getting. Someone has abandonment issues they need to work on. They're scared. So, I mean, it's like they could be scared of where this they feel this is leading to as well, whether this is you, Pisces, or them. But, you know, this has the ability to lead to something serious, something long-term. And it's like with that eight of swords there, I feel someone stuck in a mind frame, though, that, you know, there is underlying fear of what if this doesn't work out? What if they leave me? But the thing is, if you're going to focus your thought process on, well, they're just going to leave, well, then you will manifest that. You have to work on catching yourself. When you have those thoughts, nip them in the ass, man. Tell your fucking brain to shut the fuck up. No, you have to reprogram your, ba your brain from that way of thinking. You really do. Um, and, and it's not easy, you know, it takes some time. But when you actually take the time to actually start 
um, you know, catching yourself with your thoughts. If you're letting your thoughts run into like a, a, a dark place with that moon energy, catch it. Catch it and correct it. Stop that train of thought and replace it with the positive thought. But yeah, there's there's a serious need for someone has to work on their fears and, and abandonment issues. Uh, it's very strongly though, there's a, there's a major fear of being abandoned. Someone has to work on their fear of abandonment issues. Cause it's like, I feel someone wants to, is coming. Someone doesn't want, someone basically wants to stick around. Someone wants to share a life together, but someone's mind, someone's trapped in their mind, in this, uh, in this mindset, terrified that, you know, they're going to leave. But I don't, I don't feel that at all. I don't feel that this person's trying to leave. I feel that this person wants to stay. Cause now I'm getting that song from Rihanna. I want you to stay, stay with me. This person doesn't want to leave. They want to stay. So if you have fears of abandonment issues, you have to try working on them. And remember, y'all know how I feel about the eight of swords. You could be trapped in your thoughts. You could feel like you're tied to these fears of abandonment. But the thing is, the Eight of Swords, it's a self-imposed prison. You can free yourself from that prison at any time. It's not easy. It's going to take some work, 8-8. Eight, eight. But not everyone's trying to leave you. There are people who actually want to stay. All right, Pisces. All right, my loves. If you made it this far, thank you. And I love you all. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell. And as always, be well, be safe, and have a good rest of your day, rest of your night, whatever time it is where you're at. I will catch you all on the next one. Bye.